In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the PAS-227X from Phoenix Pro. This thing seamlessly streamlines the simultaneous operation of multiple IEM systems, and that could be stuff like in-ear monitor systems, things like that, and it significantly maximizes their wireless performance. It's basically just merging up to four monitor systems into one antenna system, and this can help reduce a ton of different complications. Now, I'll dive into this system in a sec, but if you've never heard of Phoenix Pro, they have tons of affordable gear for any gigging musician or live performance musician, whatever. Wireless mics, in-ear monitor systems, which I have demoed before, you can check that out later. Audio mixers, instrument systems, and in this case, antenna systems. So first I'll just do a sort of unboxing and unpackaging to show you everything that's included in it. Then of course I'll dive into all the knobs and buttons on the system itself, what they all do. I'll go over the most important features and sort of let you know everything that you can possibly do with it. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will know if this system is right for you in your current situation. Now, if you enjoy this video at any point or you find it any bit helpful, make sure to subscribe to see when I post more videos just like this one. I normally do guitar gear style videos, but I've recently been doing more live sound gear demos because that's what a lot of you have been asking me to do. And if you wanna learn more about this system, check out the pricing and things like that. The link will be down in the description below. So with all of that out of the way, Let's dive in. Now, once we open the carrying case, we are presented with just a few things on the top and the bottom. We have more cables and stuff. But first we have our antenna combiner. We have a nice engraving, Phoenix Pro on the top. Here's the front panel. Here is the back panel. We'll go over each of these in a second. Feels really sturdy. It has a little weight to it, but it's also not too heavy, which is like the perfect middle ground there. Then of course we need our power adapter and then we have an antenna mounting plate on the top. This thing has some weight to it, that is for sure. All right, now getting into the bottom section of this carrying case, we have the paddle antenna. This is what it's all about here. Very, very thin, so you do have to be careful of not like dropping this. I mean, I don't think it'll crack or anything like that, but this is where the antenna gets plugged into. This is where we can mount it. And then it comes with a mounting rod, part of the power adapter as well. Four BNC jumper cables. These will plug into our in-ear monitor systems into uh, this antenna combiner system. So one end will go into our in-ear monitors and the other end will go in the back of this system. Let's put this thing together real quick and see what it looks like all assembled. So here we have this. You can adjust it to go a little lower. That's as high as it goes. Uh, and then if we plug this, a bunch of other IEM systems into the back of this, then we plug this into the antenna and that's when, that's when we get it to work. Now at a first like look, it's pretty great. It's pretty small. I mean, this is like a half rack, so this will slip right into that and you'll have more space for other um, rack options that you would like to have. Now I honestly thought that this was gonna be a little bigger. I think it's the perfect size. They probably couldn't make it too, too small because that would kind of defeat the purpose of this whole thing. But if they made it too, too big, it would be super clunky and inconvenient. So this is all actually a really great size. All right, so now what I would like to do is take a deep dive on the front of the panel and then the back panel and just sort of show you everything that it can do and what's included. All right, so here we have the front panel of the PAS-227. Let's turn it on with the power switch. As you can see, we have a little very tiny screen and some light up buttons and knobs. Now over here to the left, these are the RF LED indicators. Uh, these display the RF signal status for connected devices. So as you can see, there are four of them. If we have uh, only two um, IEM systems that are plugged into the back of this thing, only two of these will be lit up. Uh, so depending on how many of these inputs we will use, will be lit up. We have nothing plugged into it right now. So that's why there are no uh, lit up LEDs. Now this tiny little screen, like I said, this is the gain level display. This just shows the current gain level of the output signal and it's adjustable in 16 increments. So it won't go past 16 and we can go all the way down to zero. Basically we can turn it up to compensate for signal loss or uh, we can reduce the gain to prevent an overload. So which is a really little great little feature that they add on to this thing. Now the plus and minus is just up and down and this will lead us through the uh, gain level display. So taking a look at the back, first we have our RF output antenna connector. So with this, you'll connect to the paddle antenna for transmitting the combined RF signal. And the combined RF signal is what we plug into these antenna ins with our IEM systems. So then obviously these are our RF inputs. These will connect to the transmitter RF output 
outputs like our inner monitor systems and things like that. Right here is our power input. And then this is a nice little addition. It's an adapter cord tie off. It's just for cable management and being organized when it comes to this stuff is very important. So it's really cool that they put that there. So now that we know a little bit more about this system, let's dive into its key features. So you already know that it supports up to four antenna inputs, which like I said, combines up to four IAM systems into a single antenna. Now, if this is confusing to you, here's sort of a little breakdown of this. So let's say you have two to four uh, in-ear monitor systems. Now, some in-ear monitor systems, some are single, some are double, and some have four. I very rarely have seen three. Maybe there are out there, I don't know. So if you have an in-ear monitor system that only has one transmitter pack, that's one transmitter pack for one person, but that's also including a monitor system for that pack by itself. Now let's say the guitar player and drummer need to be added to this and they also need some in-ears. Now what you could do is buy a system that has two of those in-ear monitor systems attached to the one monitor system, or you can just get two separate ones for uh, each performer or player. And with this, this can cause a lot of frequency issues and it just causes a lot more complications when you have a lot more antenna and monitor systems and things like that. So what you can do is hook all of these up into this antenna system where all of that will be shared through one antenna and you will not have as much uh, frequency issues or any other complications that normally happen when you have just a bunch of monitor systems with a bunch of antennas. That just always causes some issues most of the time. Especially if you're running more on a budget, you're more likely gonna buy cheaper in your monitor system packs. You might get a lot more interference with things like that, but now that they're running through this, you're not gonna have that issue. So I hope that sort of gives you a better understanding of what's going on here. It just helps with transmitting issues since you are now just using one antenna compared to two, four, six, God knows however many on each of the other in-ear monitor uh, systems. And you know how live sound can get, it can get very hectic at times, especially if you don't have that much time to, to get kind of get prepared on stage and unpack everything. Being organized on stage is the most important thing and this definitely helps you with that. Now how Phoenix Pro likes to put it, this is what they say uh, can happen when you use one antenna instead of all the other ones. They say that you're gonna get less intermodulation distortion and multipath interference, and with that, you get a cleaner RF environment. Now it also features a 16 level gain adjustment with a maximum boost of up to 6 dB, and that's to increase gain signal loss compensation or reduce gain to prevent overload. And the adjustment is right there on the front, so it's very easy to manipulate or change if you need to, if you have to uh, last minute or while you're on stage. Now easily, one of the best features about this is that it is designed to be universally compatible with nearly all major IEM brands and models. Thanks to its wide frequency bandwidth range of, I believe, 460 to 970 millihertz. So if you have in-ear monitor systems or any other monitor systems that is not branded with Phoenix Pro, it will be compatible with this, which is just amazing of them to do. Sometimes brands limit access to other pieces of gear that are foreign to their brand. So it's just wonderful that you can combine others with this as well. Now other features that definitely do not go unnoticed uh, is its LED indicators for real-time signal presence monitoring. Also it's got a half rack design so you can save rack space which is great. It's got removable feet for flexible setup and of course includes an antenna mounting rod and plate for instant setup. And you definitely cannot forget about the sturdy carrying case that will completely safeguard your system that will most definitely get bumped around when you're using it for live shows. I know those vans get small, don't lie. Now who do I think this system is and is not for? This is for someone who's looking for a budget antenna system that utilizes a bunch of different IEM systems, at least more than two, and they wanna be more organized, and they also just want less interference with their wireless systems, and just overall want a more streamlined setup. It's genuinely really great quality for the price, so if you want something sturdy that will definitely get the job done for what you need it for, this is definitely a no-brainer. Now, if you have like maybe one or two IEM systems and you don't have a ton of other live sounding gear, this might not be that necessary for you. If you have like a low count of band members on stage or like I said, you don't have any monitoring systems really at all, this is completely unnecessary. You don't need it. But the more band members you do have on stage, the more monitoring systems you are also using, then I would definitely invest in something like this because it's just gonna help you further down the road, guaranteed. It's almost sort of like a hidden gem and something that's kind of vital 
for live gigging. Crystal clear sounds without any interference is by far the most important thing when it comes to live shows and, and playing. It just makes everything so much easier for you and you cannot go wrong with that in this day and age. So this is definitely worth checking out if you are in the market for something like this. So what do you think of this system? What do you think about the idea? Let me know down in the comments below. Also make sure to check out other gear related demos I've done with in-ear monitor systems. You can check them out right here or wherever. Also let me know down in the comments what other pieces of gear that you would like to see me review and demo on my channel. Phoenix Pro, you guys rock. You guys are the best. Definitely go check out their website of all the other types of gear that they have. And thank you as always for watching and I will see you in the next video.